welcome. In this video, I'll be showing some radioactive items that could be in your home and also observe what type of radioactive emissions they are producing. So let's get on with it. Wow, that hamburger sure looks good. And it's just sitting there. I think my saliva glands are on the move. But wait, not so sure I wanna eat it. the plate that the hamburger sits on, the radiation levels are five times higher than the background levels. I think I'll give this burger to the dogs. Just kidding, I have cats. This plate that I bought was from the 1940s. Back then they used uranium to get the nice colors. So let's look around the home and see what other items we can find. If you're an antique glass collector, you might want to give a second look. In this case, we have depression glass and Vaseline glass. By using a black light, you can see that the Vaseline and depression glass give off a fluorescent green glow, like you see here. Moving on to the kitchen. what lurks in these cupboards. Behold. Over here, a white vase, or is it? over here in this display case. Rather enchanting, isn't it? Anything up here? Aha. Let's take one out and see how radioactive it is. I see the plate still at 90 CPMs, just under the count threshold setting the alarm off. Right away it sets off the 100 CPM alarm. Let's see how high the counts per minute will go. Looks like right around 300 counts per minute. These items can stay radioactive for hundreds of years, if longer. Excuse me. I'm going to explore and see what type of radiation this type of glass produces. Here we have a broken pitcher. Now it's donated to science. In here, I have a perfect piece that I can use in my cloud chamber. Here's 
here is a chart of the particles I'll be looking for. Some are low energy and some are high energy. In order to detect these particles, I had to build a cloud chamber. And here it is. All those squiggly lines that look like contrails are muons, photons, electrons, positrons, and so on. Right there, high energy muon, a secondary cosmic ray. They come from outer space. Now we're seeing some alpha particles. Such a tiny world in there. There goes some electrons right there. Wow, you sure there's not a teeny airplane flying around in there? there. saw were from muons, electrons, positrons, a particle system, electron, photoelectrons. You could say we saw it all. Want more radiation? Just look at this bad boy right here. I think Solar Cycle 25 is going to be a doozy. If you want to stay on top of solar activity, just follow my updates. Hope you enjoyed. Like always, thanks for watching. Man, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat that.